Let's take a look at what we're doing around lens correction in Photoshop CS5. Historically, the two shortcomings of lens correction have been discoverability, where it once lived beneath the distort submenu, it now lives in this waterfront real estate directly underneath the filter menu, and it was a very manual process. We're going to take this image here and go into the new lens correction dialog, and immediately and automatically, uh, everything is going to look just as it should. We're able to read the EXIF data off of the camera so we know which camera was used, which lens was used, and we've profiled it accordingly. We'll ship in Photoshop CS5 with a variety of different profiles, but we'll also allow you to create your own and share those online. As you can see here, we're removing geometric distortion, chromatic aberration, vignetting, and we allow you to come in and alter these things individually. You'll also notice that if your file does not have EXIF data, or if you wanted to change the parameters of your correction, you can choose your camera make, model, and lens. Just to show you one other thing we've worked on here, we made significant changes to a series of minor details in lens correction. Uh, we listened to the people who are using lens correction now, and so we've changed the reset behavior, the controls, uh, the grid, the size of the grid, the color, a number of small uh, user-focused changes to lens correction. This is one of many things that revolved around JDI changes to Photoshop CS5.